यार प्रॉपर्टी नंबर वन प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल का प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट है सो प्रूव दैट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ टी डी टी यू हैव टू प्रूव दिस वन ओके तो प्रूफ लेट एस कंसिडर दिस इंटीग्रल इज आई वन ओके सो आई वन इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स ओके नाउ आई वन इज इक्वल टू नाव इंटीग्रेट दिस वन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स बिकम्स कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स आई विल राइट यर कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड लिमिट्स दैट इज अ टू बी अपर लिमिट एंड लोअर लिमिट नाव अप्लाई हियर आई वन इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स सॉरी सो अपर लिमिट दैट इज अफ ऑफ अपर लिमिट इज अ बी लोअर लिमिट इज ए सो हियर पुट एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए सो दिस इज अक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर सेकेंड इंटीग्रल इज आई टू सो आई टू इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ टी डी टी नाउ स्मॉल एफ ऑफ टी बिकम्स कैपिटल एफ ऑफ टी ओके सो आई टी इज इक्वल टू आई टू इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी स्मॉल एफ ऑफ टी बिकम्स कैपिटल एफ ऑफ टी एंड लिमिट्स ए टू बी नाउ अपला द लिमिट हियर अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट दैट इज आई टू इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ अपर लिमिट इज अ बी सो एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू सॉरी सो दिस इज अक्वेशन नंबर टू ना कंपेर वन एंड टू कंपेर इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन टू सो ना कंपेर हियर इक्वेशन वन इक्वेशन टू इट बिकम्स आई वन इज इक्वल टू दैट इज आई वन इज इक्वल टू आई टू हेन्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ टी डी टी एंड इज द प्रूफ दिस इज आंसर डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल का प्रॉपर्टी टू है सो प्रू दैट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए टू बी एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ बी टू एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स ओके वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस वन सो प्रूफ Let us consider this integral is i one. So i one is equal to integration of a to b f of x dx. Now integrate. So i one is equal to so integration of small f of x becomes capital f of x. I will write capital f of x in the limit here a and b is there. So a to b. Now apply the limits upper limit and lower limit. So upper so upper limit minus lower limit. So what is upper limit here? B is there. So lower limit a. Okay. So I'll put here. So f of b minus f of a. So this is a equation number one. Okay. So now similarly, similarly, let us consider second integral a is i two. So i two is equal to so i two is equal to minus of integration of a two sorry b two a b two a f of x dx. So now i two is equal to i two is equal to minus as it is bracket integration of small f of x becomes capital f of x. As it is a limit here b two a is there. Okay. So now i two is equal to minus as it is. So maintain the bracket upper limit minus lower limit. What is upper limit here? A. So f of a minus lower limit f of b. Multiply by the minus. 
so this is equals to minus f of a minus minus plus f of b so i will write here f of b minus f of b minus f of a so this is the equation number two so this is i2 so i2 value and i1 value compare i1 and i2 okay that is the equation one and equation two so from equation one and equation two from equation one and equation two we get i1 is equal to i2 that is integration of a to b f of x dx is equals to minus of integration of b to a f of x dx so this is the answer okay the next one is your property number three so prove that prove that integration of a to b f of x dx is equals to integration of a to c f of x dx plus integration of c to b c to b f of x dx and condition is there here a is less than c is less than b this is the condition okay so now see the proof here proof let us consider this is a i1 okay so i1 is equals to integration of a to b f of x dx now integrate i1 is equal to integration of f of x becomes capital f of x this is a small f of x it becomes capital f of x and limits a to b now apply the limit here so i1 is equal to upper limit minus lower limit that is f of b minus f of a so this is the equation number one okay so now now similarly 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 i will consider here i2 is equals to integration of a to c f of x dx okay so now i2 is equals to now we integrate here this small f of x becomes again the capital f of x limits a to c so this is equals to f of upper limit f of c minus f of a this is the equation number two and again third one is there integration of that is i3 equal to integration of c to b c to b f of x dx now integrate this one so i3 is equals to again here the small f of x it becomes the integration that is a capital f of x and uh, limits c to b now here i3 is equals to f of b upper limit minus lower limit f of c this is the equation number three add two and three add equation two and equation three then we get prove that integration of a to b f of x dx 
is equals to integration of f of a plus b minus x into dx that is the limit a to b okay we have to prove this one so now here first of all you have to be consider the given integral so this one you have to be consider i okay so proof so i is equals to integration of a to b f of x dx okay here you have to be put put a t is equals to t is equals to a plus b minus x okay so now differentiate it so dt is equals to what minus dx means minus dt is equal to dx okay if you change the variable x to t then also you have to change the limit a and b okay if x is equals to lower limit you have to take a now put here okay in place of x you have to put a that is a this a what it becomes t value okay so a plus b minus in place of x you have to write the a so a minus a plus a cancel what remains t is equal to b hence when x is equals to a then t is equal to b if x is equals to b then what about the t value t is equal to c in place of x you have to put the b value so it becomes minus b minus b plus b cancel what remains a so t is equal to what a okay this value put in the given integral that is a i okay so i so i becomes integration of a in place of a you have to put b and in place of b you have to write a so a limits is interchange now f as it is in place of x in place of x you have to write uh, t is equal to a plus b minus of x so what about the x value x is equal to what it becomes a plus b minus t okay so therefore in place of x you have to write a plus b minus t okay so dx in place of dx you have to write minus dt so minus dt now i is equal to okay so integration of b to a f of a plus b minus t okay so this minus bring out so here i will write minus so what remains here only dt okay so now So now i is equals to i is equals to here this is a minus is outside is there so we want to remove this minus if you want to remove this minus means you have to interchange the limit a to b means b to a okay so b to a is there it becomes a to b if you interchange the limit then minus will be removed okay so now interchange the limit here so it becomes it becomes minus becomes plus that is the integration of so integration of b to a becomes a to b okay so minus will remove then f of a plus b minus in place of x i will in place of t i will write x and in place of dt i will write dx because property 1 and property 2 says property 1 and property 2 Okay, what is the property one f of x is equal to f of t is there and property two if you interchange the limit it becomes minus okay agar limit ko change kare to kya hoga minus aega bar okay so a to b agar b to a likhna hai to minus aega okay so that is a property number one and property number two hence integration of a to b f of x dx is equals to integration of a to b f of a plus b minus x into dx this is a proof